Whether you're hunting ducks, deer, or turkeys, First Light makes a beanie for it, and today I have three of them to review. Hey, George back with the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel and podcast, helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. Today is Beanie Wars, and I'm going to review three First Light beanies. First, I have the First Light Furnace 350 Merino Wool Beanie. Then I've got the First Light Synthetic Origin Beanie. And then I've got First Light's brand new Tundra Beanie. Now, full disclosure, guys, this review is not sponsored. Nobody is paying me a penny for this. I have bought all three of these beanies with my own money, but thank you very much to my Patreon supporters who help make this channel and these videos possible. Let's go ahead and jump right into it with the Furnace Beanie. Now the Furnace Beanie is made of 350 weight merino wool and it comes in any variety of camo patterns. I was actually sorely disappointed with this beanie when I got it. It has since become one of my favorite beanies. I actually have two of them, this one and this one but I was very disappointed with this beanie when I got it the reason is first light markets this as their coldest weather beanie they have it listed for temperatures of 20 degrees and below on their website and guys this beanie is just not that kind of beanie this thing is thin it's 350 weight merino it is the same exact material that the furnace base layer that I'm wearing right here is made out of and yeah, it's a good base layer. It's maybe my favorite warmest base layer, but I'm not going out on a 10 degree duck hunt or deer hunt wearing this base layer and this base layer only. It's ludicrous to say that this hat is good for 20 degrees and under. It is a thin, tiny little hat and the wind blows right through it. All right, so when I got this hat after reading that marketing, I was upset, I was disappointed, I was concerned. And then later on, I figured out what that beanie really is. All right, the Furnace Beanie is their warmest, coldest weather layering beanie. That's what this thing is good for. It's a layering beanie. You wear this on your head underneath other beanies. Okay, you don't wear it on its own. You wear it underneath something if you're gonna be out in that cold weather. And when you do that, you get all the benefits of merino wool. It is thermally regulating, which means it helps keep you warm when it's cold and keep you cool when it's warm. So for days where it starts real cold and then warms up, it works great in those kind of situations. It helps shed moisture and evaporate that moisture and keeps you dry. And then even if you do get wet, it still retains the majority of its insulated capabilities even when wet. Now it's a thin beanie, it's a small beanie. It fits really good though. It's super comfortable. It's made of a really nice material. I can pull it down extra on my head or I can roll it up. I can wear it a couple different ways. It fits really nice. It really is the perfect fitting beanie. And where I've come to use it, a lot is not really as a layering beanie but in the early season or on turkey hunts great turkey hunting beanie great early season deer or early season duck beanie this thing works really good if you're covering a lot of ground or you're working a lot you're moving you're running and gunning you're still hunting you're jump hunting you're gonna be working up a sweat this is the perfect beanie for those kind of situations all right it keeps you a little bit warm if it's a little bit cool out but then as it warms up or as you start sweating sweating because you're moving a lot, keeps you dry, keeps you warm, works really good in those kind of situations. I'm rated at about 50 degrees, 55 degrees and up is about when I think this beanie works really well. Which brings me to the second beanie right here. This is the Origin beanie. Now I got this later after that beanie, just thinking, okay, this is going to be different. It's synthetic. It's a little bit different construction. The Origin beanie, I really, really really enjoy. I've bought it, I started as just sort of my overall winter wear it everywhere beanie. To work, to the store, wherever I'm gonna go, I have worn it in the field. And what's really nice about the Origin beanie is that it's two layers. All right, there's an outside layer and an inside layer. 
different knit. It's a little bit tighter knit and it actually keeps the wind out better than the furnace beanie does. And because of that, it's a little warmer than the furnace beanie, which is odd because the furnace beanie is rated for colder weather than the origin beanie, but the origin beanie truly is a warmer hat. It's very similar in thickness, very similar in weight. The only downside I've found with the origin beanie is it just doesn't come down that far on your head. It really just barely covers my ears and this is with the large extra large and I have a very average size head. So it fits perfectly except it could maybe be a half inch longer on the sides. I'd prefer that but it works. This beanie is nice for cool days if you're going to be sitting. If you're in a tree stand, if you're in a hunting blind, if you're leaning up against a tree, hunting turkeys, whatever the case may be, if it's a cool day, but you're going to be sitting, maybe you got a little bit of weather. This thing has a DWR finish, so it helps uh, shed a little bit of initial precipitation but it works nice in those kind of situations. It will keep you a little bit warmer than the furnace beanie will when you're sitting, but when you start moving and working up a sweat, it doesn't breathe quite as well, it doesn't evaporate quite as well as the furnace beanie does. That merino wool works really well when you're active. You gotta think about it, that's how God designed these sheep, right? They got this wool to help them stay warm when it's really cold at night, but they're wearing that same wool when it's hot and sunny during the daytime. So that thermal regulation property works really well with that. Whereas the Origin Beanie, it is a little better as a stationary piece, little better in the wind, keeps you a little bit warmer. If I was out here shooting this video today and I wasn't using it as a demonstration piece, I'd be wearing it right now. But neither of these two beanies are cold weather beanies. And if you want a cold weather beanie, then you really need to hit the like button and help this video reach more people. That's the number one way to keep your head warm in the woods. No, but in all seriousness, I'd really appreciate if you guys hit the like button. If you like reviews, field tests, experiments, kicking the tires on assumptions, why don't you also go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But no, if you want a cold weather beanie, even though both of these are rated on First White's website as ultra cold weather beanies, they are not, okay? I read the reviews. They're like 4.5 and 5 out of 5 stars from just about everybody saying these beanies are super warm, awesome, amazing, great for cold weather hunts. People are delirious. I really think people are blinded by their love for First Light. I like First Light. I'm a First Light fan, but these are not cold weather beanies. And if you think differently, you're just not being realistic. If you want a cold weather beanie, this is what you need right here. The Tundra beanie. Okay, this is brand new from First Light. Last season they released it. I had to have it. I was one of the first people to buy one. This beanie is excellent, okay? This is a real cold weather beanie. You have this high, law, fleecy inside, and then it is this DWR coated soft shell on the outside with a brim, and the brim is very nice and useful. This beanie really is made for cold weather, high wind, bad weather days. Now that said, it is not made of Gore-Tex. It is not 100% waterproof. It is is windproof but water resistant. So if you get caught in a shower or something like that, this beanie's gonna work well for you. I do not hunt with this in all day driving rain on duck hunts. It's just not up for that task. But in anything less than that, it really does a great job. All right, this thing is super warm. It goes way down the back of your head and on your neck. It really is the beanie I have been waiting for from First Light for a few years now. Very nice and warm. It fits very snug. And there's only one downside I have found with this beanie. It is one inch away from being the best beanie ever on the market for the price point. And that is it just fits too snug. Now I have an average size head. I bought the large extra large, which is the largest size that they have. I put it on my head and it is snug. It is not uncomfortable. It's not too tight, fits perfect. It's everything I'd want it to be except I can't wear anything under it, otherwise it becomes too tight. 
I would love to be able to wear this with their Tundra balaclava underneath or some other heavy balaclava underneath because so much of the time, if I'm wearing the Tundra beanie, it's so cold I want to have some kind of a face mask or whole headpiece on under that. And you can really only fit something that's super duper thin under it, at least with my size head. If your head's smaller, this could be the greatest beanie ever for you. I hope it is. But for me, it fits a nice cold weather niche I can only fit maybe the lightest ski mask that I own under it. So it is this close literally from being the greatest beanie ever for me. It's not quite there, but I still give it an A. It's super warm. When we had negative 10 degree temperatures earlier in the season, I was wearing this beanie out uh, on a very regular basis. Works really nice. But if it's going to be super cold, you really probably want to have extra room so you can wear something different denser underneath of it. Now I'll put a link to all three of these beanies down below in the description. If you guys are not a supporter of this channel on Patreon, I want to invite you to click the link in the description as well. It is your support that makes videos like this, field tests and others possible, and a day where Second Amendment friendly channels are not popular with advertisers on YouTube. But in the meantime, why don't you guys check out this video right here where I did a full review on the First Light 350 base layer, and this video right here where I did some cold weather beanie experiments a little while back before I had these three pieces. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, God bless you guys and go get them in the woods.